story you'll see only on two, a teen's remarkable recovery. We first told you about Lacey Johnson in June. She was in a horrific car crash. She tried to help the driver who was suffering some sort of medical emergency. The car flipped over three times. Lacey was thrown out of the car. Well, now, just a few months later, some very good news for Lacey and her family. Channel 2's Sally Mamdou told us about Lacey's recovery on her newscast at 5 o'clock. She's back to continue the story. Sally? And Bill, physical therapy helped Lacey in her recovery process, but really it was her attitude that helped get her moving faster than expected. It was tough to imagine for 17-year-old Lacey Johnson's family that she was going to go from being partially paralyzed and not being able to talk to this. <laughs> These few steps are Lacey's determination finally paying off. I can't wait for this day. Today, she's being released from Tier Memorial Herman, a rehabilitation hospital. Lacey was ejected from a car after her friend's mother suffered a seizure while driving. Her aunt Vicki Johnson says Lacey's future became dim. Lacey's neck was uh, broken. Her back was broken in four places. Her skull was detached from her spine. Lacey spent four weeks in physical therapy, and there she promised herself that when it was time for her to leave the hospital, it would be on her own two feet and not with her wheelchair. So I'm not handicapped. I'm not crippled. I'm not disabled. I'm perfectly fine. I'm going to walk. And that she did, accomplishing a milestone, her physician calling her recovery exceptional. I think what makes her case a little bit uh, more exceptional is just the degree of improvement in the weak leg. But it was also Lacey's strong will and good attitude that got her moving slowly but surely to the hospital's exit doors. Nothing's impossible at all. Never say you can't. This is just the beginning for Lacey. She plans to continue doing her therapy so she can get rid of that walker you just saw in our story. We're live from the Texas Medical Center. Sally Memdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News. What a remarkable example. Thank you, Sally.